the landscape has changed. And we were either going to be flexible and find our way through this new world order, or we were going to be left behind. Gail Berman co-founded Berman Braun, a new kind of production house that tackles film, TV, and web content. Right now, you're not going to make nearly as much money online as you are on television. But as television becomes more like the web and the web becomes more like television, that may change. The television producers that we see migrate into the web are hedging their bets. Berman Braun creates videos for its own sites, and it cut a deal with Google to produce three new YouTube channels on food, fitness, and movies. YouTube now believes that their business model may be able to include quality content um, created by tremendously talented writers, directors, and uh, we hope that they're right. <laughs> you don't have to necessarily go through the same door you went through before to get in somebody's living room. Ben Silverman is former co-chair of NBC Entertainment, an executive producer of The Office, Ugly Betty, and The Biggest Loser. Now he heads Electus, a multimedia studio creating shows for both TV and the web. I really felt that the people who had limited themselves by saying we only do one price point or only one kind of content were not opening themselves up to this next generation platform and where the audience was going. And they're going to YouTube. Silverman teamed up with Sofia Vergara to target the Hispanic audience with Nuevon and has two other channels in the works. The core ability of a content producer is to tell a great story and to get an audience to connect with that story. And that doesn't change where the audience is finding that story. And now Disney's also in the game, striking a deal to create a new YouTube channel featuring Disney's first original videos created just for the web. For example, Where's My Water, which is an app that Disney started on the smartphone platform, they've now decided to create a small animated series around it. And instead of putting that on the Disney Channel, they've decided to put that right into YouTube. So why does it make sense for Disney to create content for a YouTube channel? It enables us to uh, have a larger branding presence in the, in the YouTube space. I bet you I could probably dunk anything. How about this frozen turkey? Disney's Phineas and Ferb along with other hit cable shows, are on its new YouTube channel as well. Do your cable channels compete with content online, like the channels on YouTube? Everything competes with everything these days. Hollywood's A-listers are also jumping at the chance to, I am not broke, to experiment in the web's emerging middle market. The middle market is this content that will cost a little bit more to produce than stuff that's online today, and a little bit less to produce than stuff that's on your cable channel or your primetime lineup. We're a place where they can do what they want, essentially unfettered by the suit. Meet the suit behind Funny or Die, President and CEO Dick Glover. Checkmate, John McLean. We don't have huge development budgets to develop 30 projects with the hopes that five actually get made with the hopes that oh, one is a hit. Oh. You don't have to raise your voice. Funny or Die's debut video has over 78 million views. It doesn't hurt when your co-founder makes an appearance, and his name is Will Ferrell. You're doing so good, Pearl. He's helped draw big stars Pearl like Ryan Gosling. What gave it away? Jerry Seinfeld and... Charlie Sheen. What's our mission? To make people laugh. Let's spruce this place up a bit. 